Music is my ministry. It has been since I was a child. I started playing in church when I was seven. My mother said that every time I heard music, I would stop my crying and turn my head like I was listening. And uh, she said to my dad, I've got other things to do. I can't sit and sing to this child in this bed. She wants to be. So anyway, when I was three years old, or a year old, rather, a year old, mother put me on her lap, sat down at the old Bill Branson piano and played. And I took one very chubby, fat little finger and went. The mother said, we're in trouble right now. So I started taking lessons at three. Music has great power. There's, there's power in music. There's power in the blood of Christ, but there's also power in music. I always knew that when I played, whether it was in church or whether it was in a pep rally, a Waverly High School um, when I was a kid, um, that it was, it was actually a ministry. And I've looked at it that way all my life. My music has been given to Christ. He does with it as He pleases. The one thing that I appreciate about teaching in my home, it is my home. I'm free to say anything. And so I often talk to the children about Jesus. And uh, I don't preach. I just tell them when we get to Christmas, um, we play Silent Night, we play O Come All Ye Faithful, we play the first Noel, we play everything from Jingle Bells and Santa Claus Come to Town. But, um, and it's fun. But, what is the real meaning of Christmas? It's a good time, and at Easter it's a good time. And the Lord has given me a, a new gift that I'm just thrilled with. And I have just discovered that I can take the Brahms A-flat major waltz and trust and obey goes right with it. Um, Pastor Dan has asked me to play Silent Night on Christmas Eve you know, a few times uh, since I've been there, and I put that with the Brahms lullaby. And after I played it the very first year, two elderly ladies came up to the piano, and I didn't know who they were, and they didn't know me, but they said <clears throat> in front of us <clears throat> sat four teenage girls, and when you played Silent Night, they cried. And there's a verse of scripture that says, the lines have fallen and will be in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I believe that. I believe that's the verse that the Lord gave me a long time ago. I have one deep supreme desire that I may be like Jesus. To this I fervently aspire, that I may be like Jesus. I want my heart His throne to be, so that a watching world may see His likeness shining forth in me. I want to be like Jesus.